Good morning and welcome back into Morning Moments with Jesus. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here this morning for our devotion time. In our short time here on earth, so much of what we do depends on our vision. In other words, how we see things in life, how we see God, how we see other people, and how we see the world as a whole. And all of these things will dictate what kind of person we become. But there is also another vision that is equally important, and that is the way we see ourselves. The true value of who you will become depends much on what you think about yourself. And I love what the psalmist writes in Psalm 139, beginning in verse number 13. I want you to make these verses very personal to you this morning, especially if you struggle with low self-esteem. Lord, you have possessed my reins, and you have covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made, and marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows right well. My substance was not hid from you when I was made in secret. Your eyes did see my substance yet being unperfect, and in your book all my members were written. How precious also are your thoughts towards me, O God. How great is the sum of them. This morning, the Lord really wants you to know this morning that he knows you. Possessed here in in the psalmist writing here, the word possessed denotes a couple of things. First, the Lord created us. Therefore, he knows all about us. And nothing can be hid from him because he searches the inward parts. Psalm 51, David writes in detail about the Lord searching the inward parts of us. But the second thing is it shows us that even though the Lord knows all that's inside of us, he still chooses to possess or to purchase us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Not only does he know you this morning, but I want you to know this. He put you together the way he put you together for a reason. Not the negative things, not the uh, things that the enemy is trying to do, but I'm talking about the things that the Lord is trying to bring out in you. He not only knows you from the inside out. Listen, he made you from the inside out. And this sets up the vision that we should have concerning ourselves. You've got to believe this morning that God knows what he's doing and he knew what he was doing when he made someone very precious like you. So today, begin to praise God for your life. For the psalmist says here, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made and marvelous are your works. Now get that because you have got to see yourself as his work our lives are so uniquely made and that is why we should praise him for a life that doesn't have to go on another second unless he chooses for it to but yet he chooses to work marvelous things through you every single day he knows your whole life the reality is that before you were born and your life began to take shape and unfold God knew what you could become. All of the imperfections, all of the shortcomings, as well as all the talents and the gifts, they were all recorded and provisions were already made so that you could continue to perform as he had designed you to perform. So with all of these thoughts about how precious you are to God, I pray today that you could see yourself As someone very special. Not in a boastful way. But in a confident way. We should never exalt ourselves above. What God has created us to be. But we should never demean ourselves. In being less than what God has created us to be. The psalmist says that when he awakes. He is still with the Lord. And that should give us great comfort today. As Jeremiah writes in the 29th chapter and the 11th verse of his writings. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, 
thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a to give you a hope and a future so how do you see yourself today is it through your eyes or is it through the eyes of god because your self esteem and your self worth and your self value will depend upon your answer today i pray that you're safe that you're strong, and that you're always blessed. I want you to see yourself today as fearfully and wonderfully made by God. His fingerprints are all over you. And He has never made a mistake, and He's never made anything wrong. So today you go out and be the best you can be, knowing that you see yourself through the eyes of God. Pray you have a great day. God bless you.